Hi all, today I decided to do the explanation of Icebjok about Fable, one of my favorite game series. It's surprising that no one has done this because the Icebjok is already a year old. Its author is well known in Fable community, Avaris. A link to his Reddit and YouTube channel will be in the description. If anyone doesn't know, the analysis of an iceberg is an explanation of each of the facts arranged along its height in such a way that the most famous are on top and the most secret and controversial points are below. In addition, I added some interesting and even scary facts for myself, so it will definitely be interesting. We begin. Fable 2004 Everyone knows the first part of the series as Fables Lost Chapters, but in fact, this is a ported and expanded version of the first game on PC, released in 2005. The very first version of the game was released in 2004 exclusively on the Xbox. Microsoft Microsoft Game Studios has been the publisher of the Fable series since 2006. Fable TLC Mod This is a site dedicated to modding Fables Lost Chapters. Forums on the topic of Fable, many forums have been created on the network, including official ones. The most active is of course the Reddit forum. Lionhead Studios This is a studio that developed the Fable games and many other great projects. Unfortunately, it was closed in 2016. Fable The Lost Chapters This is a ported and enhanced version of the game on PC. It expanded the plot and added northern wastelands. Xbox, PC and Xbox 360. These are the platforms on which the first part of the series was released. Jack of Blades. This is the main antagonist in Fable's Lost Chapters. An unknown entity that takes over the bodies of its victims. He was once a member of the Cult of Three that terrorized all of Albion. Now he is again gathered his strength and is ready to get the Sword of Irons, with which he can subjugate all the people of this world to his feet. Hero of All Quail So is called the protagonist of the first fable, because he does not have his own name. It is he who will have to decide whether to free this world forever from the oppression of Jack of Blades or to unite with him to enslave it. Albion This is the name of the continent in which all four games in the series take place. From the second part, this name will be taken by the country. Sword of Ants and Our Steer this is the names of the most powerful swords in Fables Lost Chapters. The Sword of Ants is its dark variation, and the Our Steer is its good one. Few people know, but Our Steer have a twin brother, created at the same time, and he is called Our's Lamentation. You can find this weapon only in the third part of the franchise. Fable Anniversary This is the anniversary edition of the first part of Fable, released in 2014. The graphics has been updated and a whole bunch of accessory items of clothing and weapons have been added. True fans know that the graphics and atmosphere are better in the original game. Money Glitch It can sense in the fact that merchants sell things at prices lower than they buy. Thus, trading the same item, you can get an infinity amount of gold. In fact, this is not even a bug, but a feature. The developers of the loading screens themselves write that buying and reselling things is a profitable business. Corrupt textures. Sometimes, for known reasons, the textures in the game become corrupted and start to look like translucent red rectangles. Original Boston platform. Initially, the Boston platform was supposed to look different. Its model remained in the game files, but it cannot be seen in the game itself. Chocolate box. This is a program for editing levels in Fables Lost Chapters, one of the main programs for modding this game. Samarkand It is a country located east of Albion. It is located on the West Desert continent. We have heard a lot about these distant lands, gunpowder and many plot characters come from here. However, in one of the four games in the series, we will not be able to visit Samarkand. Fable Explorer This is the most famous program for creating and installing mods for the first part of Fable. Peter Molyneux Found of Lionhead Studios He served as the lead designer of the first two Fable games. It is thanks to him that the series turned out the way we know it. Voice Actors 
famous stars took part in the voice acting of all three parts of Fable. Rolling is much faster. Although the roles were designed solely for effective movement in battles, they turned out to be much faster than running. That is why this type of movement is used in all speed runs. Interviews and presentations. At all the presentations of the first two parts of Fable, Peter Molyneux assured journalists of the immense possibilities of Fable so great that then, what then, even now, not a single game can boast of such possibilities. Of course, most of what he promised was not fulfilled, but he managed to attract a lot of attention to his game. And the game itself, to be honest, came out great. Akon. At the presentations of the Fable, Peter Molyneux said that the world in the game will constantly evolve, and gave an example that it would be possible to plant an Akon, and after a few years in the game, it would grow into a huge Oak 3. This Akon story has become a local meme that is always mentioned when talking about Molyneux's promises. William Black It was he who, many years ago, defeated the Code of Three with the help of the Sword of Irons, including Jack of Blades. He united Albion and became its first Archont, led the old kingdom to prosperity. But one day he disappeared without a trace, leaving his cruel sons to rule Albion. Cut augmentations. From the final version of the game, several augmentations were cut that were inserted into weapons and brought various bonuses to the main character. Bing Blue Box. This company came up with the basic concept of Fable and subsequently teamed up with the Lionhead Studios to develop games. Demon Doors This is one of the most mysterious creatures in the entire series of games. They are alive stone doors that hide a location with some kind of treasure behind them. To open the door, you need to fulfill its whim or solve the riddle. Sometimes entire portals can be hidden behind the doors occasionally leading even to other planets. Cut Hero Animations Some animations of the main character were cut from the game for unknown reasons. For example, the animation of drinking potions or beer. Community of Modders The first part of Fable lends itself heavily to modding. Unsurprisingly, a community of modders has rallied around this game, releasing a whole host of mods that expand the game and bring back cut content. Simon and Dean Carter. They are the founders of Being Blue Box and the very first developers of Fable. The Trophy Dealer. Those who played Fable's those chapters should know such a character as an archaeologist. In the game files, his model is called the Trophy Dealer, which may be a hint to his original purpose. Dangerous proximity of the moon to the Earth. Have you noticed how close the moon is to Earth in Fable? You can see literally every crater on its surface, and this cannot be frightening. It is likely that the planet on which Albion is located is much smaller than ours, and in order to keep the moon on its orbit, the satellite has to be so close to the surface. Cut spells The first part of Fable have a fairly large list of spells, but not all of them made it into the final game. Some remained only in the game's files. Cut quest items some quest items remained unused in Fable's old chapters. Natural Wizard Hat In the game, by completing the quest book collection, you can be rewarded with a light or dark wizard's hat, depending on the books wrote by the hero. However, in addition to these two instances, the game was supposed to have the third one, its natural variation. Unfortunately, it was cut out. Bowerin Trap this is the name of the animation of main character, which was supposed to be played after being infected by a Balverin. After it, the hero of Oakvale would have to turn into a Balverin. Lionhead Troll When the first fable was still in development, a group of trolls called Kibitz managed to get access to several screenshots of an earlier version of the game. On one of them, the main character... <coughs> However, you can see it yourself. It is not clear why the developers took this screenshot at all. Of course, it was not intended to be published on the network, but a group of trolls threatened Lionhead to merge it. Some photos were uploaded by them on the Lionhead forums, which allowed the developers to calculate the place where the criminal lived by IP address. He turned out to be a 16 years old schoolboy. Through Wars friend, they managed to get his school notes and even a poem which he was supposed to read in the class. Lionhead Studios wrote a public message to the Kimis group, 
including the first lines of his poem and the landmark that was visible from the window of his house. In the letter, the developers threatened the juvenile delinquent that they would tell his mother everything if he did not stop doing it. And surprisingly, it worked. Subsequently, the student often attended live events. Cut human NPCs. Models of some characters never found their way into the game. Among them is even a certain mad bomber, who probably should have been able to throw bombs, also lying in the game files. Hopes passed. Hopes are those clumsy creatures that roam the expenses of Albion. But have you noticed that they differ in a well-developed mind from other mobs? In addition to using magic, they know how to make fire, use furniture and even have something like a monarchy. A book was even written about one particularly smart hope named Maxley who wants to live among people. All this is explained by the fact that in the past hopes were ordinary children. Nims kidnap small children while they are sleeping and take them to caves where they are turned into hopes. This is dedicated to a separate quest in Fables Lost Chapters, where you need to save the boy from the cave of these creatures. But the worst thing is that hopes eat human flesh, thus in some way they engage in cannibalism. Children In all parts of Fable, children are simply unkilling. However, in the game files you can find animations of attacks and even deaths for children. Besides, Remember this image. I think ev that everything is clear here, just in case this feature was cut out of the game. But despite this, in Fables of Chapters, one child can still be in the quest called Hope's Cave, taking the boy back to his grandmother, thereby completing the quest, it will be possible to kill him. Summon Clipping This is the name of a combination of spells that allows you to go beyond the walls. If you cast the summon close to a wall, then the summon spirit may end up in the textures. Through the use of the killer's jump, the character moves behind the back of the selected victim and thus appears behind the textures. Voices of Jack of Blades and Briar Rose The voices of these characters are different in the 2004 and 2005 versions. This is due to the fact that the voices have undergone more processing in Fable's Lost Chapters. I see they're letting the children out of the guild early these days. I see they're letting the children out of the guild early these days. Attend. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. I have returned. After an eternity away from you all, Jack of Blades is back. And then in Potion. This potion was cut from the game but it has its own model and even walking effect. It increases the attack and roll speed of the main character. Troll game Killing a troll always drops a game of some kind. At first, the developers wanted to this game to be right in the trolls, but later this idea was abandoned. Fable Beta On the internet, you can find gameplay videos from the beta version of Fable. It had a lot of cut content. Multiplayer In the first game, a real multiplayer was planned. However, as we know, it did not appear in the game. Only a lot of features remained from it. Multiplayer was embodied only in the second and third parts. Hero Centra In old screenshots, you can see that the Guild of Heroes looked a little different than it does now. Its model was called the Hero Center. Stealth Challenge Cave the game files contain a whole bunch of models from the stealth series, which apparently should have been in some kind of cave. In the game, the stealth mechanic is severely curtailed and only needed for theory and one story quest. Chin Beard This is the name of a cut with a beard that was cut from the game. Dragon Cliff This name is given to an entire location removed from the game, in which the final battle was supposed to take place. Reminds a fortress. Project Tango. That's what Fable should have been called. There is now a mod with the same name, which aims to add to Fable what was planned in Project Tango. For example, a seamless world. Now the development of the mod is frozen and it's unlikely that it will ever be released, but let's hope that work on it will be finished someday. Dog. In the first part, the main character was supposed to have a dog, but the final version of the game, it was not left. The dog was first added only in the second part. 
and it was presented as almost the main feature of the game. The connection between Lady Grey and Jack of Blades. Amanda Grey, Elvira's older sister, was supposed to be mayor of Bowerstone. However, this was not destined to happen. One day, Elvira killed her older sister to take her throne. Not many people know that it was Jack of Blades who inspired her to do this. In the Grey's house you can find a dusty notebook, in which Lady Grey writes that a certain messenger in a mask appeared to her and opened her eyes. It's not difficult to guess that this is Jack of Blades. It turns out that Jack has almost complete control over the entire Bower Storm. Cut animals and creatures. Despite the rather rich fauna of Albion, a large number of animals and mobs never added the game. Among them are various insects, goblins and even dragons. Spirit Ops In the first and second parts of the series, when killing enemies, orbs of experience fall out of them, which the hero needs to level up. The interesting thing is that this is not game convention at all, but part of this world. The Guildmaster in teaching directly talks about this phenomenon. Scoreboard system Since initially multiplayer was planned in Fable, they also wanted to introduce a system of records into it. In the final version of the game, all that was left of it was the leaderboards, which can be found in the arena and in the Guild of Heroes, Rogdo. This is the name of the dragon that was supposed to be the main enemy of the hero of all quail in the final battle that takes place on the Dragon Cliff. The boss model looks very detailed. It's a pity that the developers didn't have time to introduce it into the game. Dragon Lair some believe that this is another cut location from the game. However, this is most likely just a place marked on the map near the Hook Coast for the appearance of the fullness of the game world. Witchwood Totems The people of North Hook Glade, living in the Witchwood, lived and developed far from the main continent for a long time. The local inhabitants have developed their own culture, one of the manifestations of which just the same are totems. Kairi the Dragon This is another cut dragon from the game. This is model, he resembles Jack of Blades in the guise of a dragon. Material Chunks In the game files, you can find material models that are not used in it. Perfors, they were intended for crafting or improving equipment. Movable Crate It is likely that the game was supposed to have a quest to carry the boxes, since in the game files you can find an object called a movable crate, and the main character has a separate animation for carrying it. Secret ending of the quest be Moldy. Arriving at the Boston Way, you may notice an old man sitting on a bench. It turns out that he has a daughter, and she would not mind meeting a hero like us. But there is one problem. She only likes heroes with a pudding basin and haircut, mutton chop beard and trader style mustaches. Having gone to the barber, it turns out that all this was just a joke of an old man, and he has no daughter. But not many people know that this quest has a secret ending. If after receiving the mustache cut, you change the hairstyle and beard, and then talk to the bald bearded man several times, you will uncover a secret ending. I must come clean. I don't give a hub's ass what you like. I don't even have a daughter. I was just having a laugh. You look like a git. But here's a little something for your trouble, and for bringing a little joy to my day. Cut Expressions All communication in Fable series comes down to expressions and gifts. There are functional, friendly and aggressive gestures, but some of them were never included in the game. Thunder's Longsword this weapon should have been used not only by Thunder, but also by the hero of Oakwell himself, having won it in a fair fight. A feature of the weapon is that it knocks enemies down if they block the blow. But you can't call lightning from it like Thunder. Cut Quests A large number of missions didn't enter the game in their original form. Some were changed, and some were removed altogether. For example, quests such as the raid on Oakwell, or the hero's old house, in which you had to find the key to your home and meet with the ghost of your father. Main Easter Egg in Fable's Lost Chapters After killing 1040 gods in Oakwell, white Balberins will start to be in their place. They are much stronger and have more health. But by killing them, you get good points obtaining both good and evil wizard heads. Without mods, 
you cannot get two variations of this hat in the same time. Quest book collection can only be completed once. But it is still possible. If you resort to a rather complex scheme. There is a video about this on YouTube, and if you are interested, you can find it yourself. Unused draw walking animations. It's pretty weird that trolls in Fable can't walk. If the player runs away from the troll, he will simply burrow to the ground. However, in the game files, you can find unused walking animation. Wish Vault. This is the very first name of the project, which later turned into Fable. It was planned that this would be a multiplayer game, where four players would fight among themselves, along the way changing the world of the game around. However, none of publishers were particularly interested in this idea, so the game had to be completely redone. Sai is William Black. The stranger essence who cares about the fate of Albion is actually William Black. Thus, he is the first Archont of the Old Kingdom. This is reinforced by the fact that the Sai is wearing the same clothes that William Black was wearing when he was last seen. Now he looks more like an undead than a man, which is explained by the fact that while fighting the Court of Three, he contracted a terrible disease, due to which his body began to die, but he himself did not. Concept Art the Vault and Fable, like in any other game, began from concept arts. On them, you can see not only the enemies and places known to us, but also the unreleased ideas of the developers, which remain on the concept arts. Church Leader It is he who accepts all the nations for the glory of Evo, but besides this, he could refuse them, or even punish the hero if he went down the evil path. As we know, these ideas were not implanted. Malinio Light to get into the video game industry Peter Molyneux is also known as a storyteller and not at all casually. The early days of his career in the gaming industry, he deliberately came up with impossible ideas of his games to attract public attention and, as we know, he succeeded. Temple of Avo and Chapel of Scom During the time of Able Lost Chapters, belief in the gods of Avo and Scom, the embodiments of good and evil, was widespread in Albion. But in fact, this is all nothing more than a protracted business idea. The Oracle can tell us about this. One day, a very wealthy merchant decided to build two temples, in places with the most soothing and, on the contrary, intimidating atmosphere. He came up with a myth of Avo and Skom, gods whose favor can be won by bringing them gifts. Avo needs money and Skom needs people. Everything went so far that two centuries before the start of the first game, the followers of those gods unleashed a real war between themselves. At the time of the second part, their temples were destroyed, and faith in light and darkness appeared in their place. However, individual followers of Awen's comb still remain. Necropolis in 2004 The once large and prosperous city located in the northern wastes was supposed to be in 2004 version of the game. However, you can only see the dead city in the Fable Souls chapters. Baked Beans after Peter Molyneux graduated from the university, he unsuccessfully tried to find himself in the gaming industry. Then the father of his ex-girlfriend suggested that he open a baked bean export company to the Middle East, called Taurus. However, things were not going well for the company, because it turned out that beans were not great demand in the Middle East. But one day, Peter receives a call from Commodore, once a big player in the personal computer market. In a live meeting, Molyneux learns that Commodore is extremely eager to work with his company. He immediately realized that something was wrong, but he played alone. The following week, he received several Amiga computers, which were very useful in game development. It was only then that Commodore realized that they had confused Molyneux's being company, Taurus, with the software company called Taurus. Peter escaped with nothing more than a promise never to sell beans again. Anniversary Prima Guide this is the name of the exclusive edition of Fable Anniversary, which includes a book, a map, a guide, and a special weapon, the Sword of Strategy. Traveling Bega and Bully For the first time going out to the lookout point, you can meet a bully, Molestin, a beggar. The hero can help both one and the other. The quest seems to quite simple, but in fact, it hides a lot of interesting things. The beggar is an old adventurer, he too was once a hero. But fate treated him harshly, and now he begs for alms from those with whom he once fought together. 
In addition, the hero of Oakwell is related to the old adventurer. He is the brother of Scarlet Rope, the mother of the protagonist, which means that the beggar is his uncle. Only the most interesting facts are ahead. But before we continue, I will express my deep gratitude to all those who found me from the previous video about games in which you have been watched. If you are interested in this topic, follow the hint. I certainly had hopes for him, but not so great. Now the video has collected more than 50,000 views, and the number of subscribers from 36 has become more than a thousand, and all this is thanks to you. I really appreciate your support and will try to please you with content in the future. Was not even meant to be an RPG. When Fable was still Wish World, no one imagined that the game should become an RPG. Procedural Generation Sam Swain said that while working on Fable, Procedural Generation was used to create locations, although the most of them are undoubtedly made by people. References in the exe file The exe file for the game contains a majority of its code, including stuff that was cut from the game. Albion Cipher The map in Fable Anniversary has text written in the Albion language. Fans have long been able to translate this language into English. So, the text describes the work that cartographers face in when creating maps. Most of this was created by John Steed, but he couldn't see in his creation, because after its completion, he was killed in a duel. Cut Cutscenes in the game files, you can find many references to cut cutscenes, dedicated to both existing missions and those removed from Fable. Reading all of the lore books Six books have been released in the Fable universe. Some of them better reveal a lore of the world and individual characters, while others develop the history of the Fable world after the third part. I highly recommend reading it. All the text big file a text file found in the debug version of the game that lists every text file from early builds of the game, including unused dialogue that was removed from Fable on the original Xbox. Other languages for urban Stalmaturgica. This book describes the forgotten rights and spells of the whole coast, but the problem is that it is written in an incomprehensible language. Perhaps it is the language of the Old Kingdom. Sand Goose. This is a legendary animal whose existence has been proven by archaeologists. According to stories, the sand goose lived in the desert on the Aurora continent. It itself is the size of house. This goose can speak several languages at once. Unfortunately, all searches for this creature turned out to be fruitless. And even though it cannot be seen in any of the game's series, there are mentions of it in all three parts. Briar Rose was missing and you have to find her. According to the original idea, Briar Rose was supposed to disappear somewhere. The protagonist was forced to go to the arena in order to find out more about her disappearance. Later, as we know, this idea was abandoned. The Sinning Spot This is one of the biggest jokes of the entire Fable community. It all started with the fact that the Oracle of Snowspire can tell the hero the story of the legendary Sinning Spot, which, in combination with his great strength and beautiful voice, could defeat entire armies. However, in other legends, the sword has just terrible singing, which he once defeated the great hero. In the second part, there is a weapon akin to him, an axe of disharmony. The singing sword can be found in the already closed Fable Fortune. For a long time, players have been looking for this sword in Fable's Lost Chapters, and, you won't believe it, they found it. It turns out that the simple loot is called the singing sword in the game files. STB file The mesh for every map in this game. No one has found a way to recompile this file without using a debug build. The Fable Trainer does not give you a virus. I don't think there is anything more to add here. Debug build There is a debug build of Fable that has comments and a level editor. Hex editing One of the most advanced aspects of modding Fable. Fable ID. This is an unreleased program from Microsoft that would make modding Fable more convenient.
every dev's name other than Peter Molyneux. In fact, this is a joke of the creator of the iceberg. When someone talks about Fable, everyone will always remember only Peter Molyneux, as if there were no other developers in these games. Grand Game of the Jack of Blades. This is the name of a huge theory by the authorship of the Dementor Key, describing the ingenious plan of Jack of Blades. You can find this theory in the description of the video, in a separate file. I immediately apologize for the clumsy translation, because the original theory is in Russian, and there is a lot of text there, and I just threw it into an automatic translator. I highly recommend reading. In short, Jack secretly deeply spread his roots throughout Albion, and has long begun to bring his plans to life. He killed Nostro, at his request, all quail burned down, having coordinated this with the gods, try to get the spy shots. I can describe everything here, so follow the link and read everything yourself. You will learn a lot of new things, especially since this is the last fact from our iceberg. And if you were interested and you learned something new about Fable, I will be very grateful if you subscribe and like this video, because I put a lot of time and effort into this video. Also, go to my Patreon. Thanks to all.